Hi everybody. It's been so long since I've actually communicated uh, with you guys, so you probably think I'm dead, but I'm not. Um, just been dealing with life stuff. But um, I figured this video is kind of relevant because um, I'm actually in a bit of a rush because I have to leave to an appointment, but I've actually kind of had been able to take a break off of wearing hair, um, except for if I was going out at night. If I go out at night, I always wear wigs. Um, like 100 percent of the time but like in the daytime i had taken a break um because my hair was my short hair was kind of good enough to go and deal with uh deal with it as it is lately um it's been kind of a tough year for my hair and it's um shedding and it's got more visible thinness and um i did recently have prp a couple weeks ago so i'm hoping that pulls me through again um, but I need to, uh, get back into wearing hair more full time. Uh, so I decided to use as my, I should say, entry back into wig wearing world, uh, ease, the one that's, um, one that's easiest to work with that I own. And it's not actually the one with the absolute highest quality hair or length or anything in fact this is a as you can see the ends are frizz because it's been um permed and i'm going to use water on it to to tame it and everything um but the front is cut wherever the bangs are cut here and it's been colored um uh by sophie to really 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 uh match my own hair which is basically like a super, super ashy, light, light brown, blonde, going gray, more gray as time goes on. So, um, this hair stands by itself. Like it just, it'll like, you know, a lot of wigs, even the great ones will fall flat. Um, and it just stays out of my face and I don't have to worry about it. Right. So this is my entry into day wearing to my therapy appointment, um, which I've been going to without a wig, I'm going to, I want to pick the easiest one. That wasn't going to be, you know, having to be too much trouble for me to get back into. And once you start wearing them all the time, they really aren't trouble in my view. But at first, even if you're re-entering wig wearing after not doing it all the time, it can be a little bit of an adjustment. So really I took this out of the box. And so and you may be like, oh my god, it's so frizzy. Like, oh my god, like, that's not, like, great. Well, it's natural, and so many people have frizzy hair. So it makes it all the more natural. So this was, um, it's a super old wig. This was called Lifestyle previously in the long length. And it's been colored a couple times, and it's been permed. So it's been put through the mill. Over the years, it's lost a lot of hair. Probably. I mean, it's one of the older wigs I own. So, um, I just wanted to show you that water is your friend. And also, when you buy a wig, um, it's really a good idea to um, uh, have it modified to your needs. So what I mean by that, um, I talk a lot, this is going on forever, um, getting it cut or layered, um, definitely colored to match uh, if you're pulling out hair out of your own hairline, which I do pull out little bits um, out of my degree in hairline, you can see there. Um, and uh, so the cut, the color, uh, the texture can be also worked with, as you can see on this wig. It was a very, very straight wig before. Um, I'm going to level with you. I don't even know when this wig was washed uh, last. Um, so if it had been washed and nicely dried, this would look different. Much better. But for my purposes, it is light on my head out of my face and it looks like it's growing out of my head so I say that this is a successful back into having to well I feel like I have to start wearing wigs kind of full-time right now or get back into the groove of it 
because uh, if my hair keeps falling out uh, and it's run its course, like, you know, I've been saving it with PRP, but if it's like, you know, I turned 40 and if it's like, okay, well, you held on this long, um, I'm not really going to cry about it anymore. I'm, I'm more tired of it than anything. Um, it's going to be shape a lot for me. I'm just going to shape it off. So I'll see how things go in the upcoming months. Um, if it maintains or gets back a little bit, then great. If not, then we will be on a new series of, oh boy, I got to shave my head. Um, but I always kind of expected that was coming anyways down the line. So if it happens, whatever, it happens. I have wigs. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.